First pitch on its way. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. First and second now. One man out. And now a pitch that's taken here by Lowry as that evens the count at 1 and 1. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's 2 and 1. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. All even now, two and two. Missed with a slider. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard, but fouled toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The 3 2 one more time. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Grounded to the right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. That's the difference in today's game. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count. But the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. Standing in now, Josh Donaldson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1-0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score as that run breaks the tie and makes this a two to one ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set and the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hey, you got a runner in scoring position. It only takes one. I know he was out in front on that off speed pitch right there, but this pitcher cannot get cute and leave something over the heart of the plate. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's 1 and 2. Semyon at second. Lowry on at first with two down. Two and two. Swing and a looper to left. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and not in time as the run scores. Hey, with two strikes right there, he's trying to run that ball up and oh, in no. to try to tie him up, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, in today's game, everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think a non-executed pitch on the inner half, Dan, is exactly what the batter's looking for, something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. 
Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. As a look, now the pitch. Rip down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Three runs already home here. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's yep. one, and two. one and two. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. The one two. Now a swing and a fly ball. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitors bullpen. And here's a pitch inside and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. So the bases are loaded here two men gone and that'll bring in the center fielder Chris Young. Sale sets here's the first pitch swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah Maddie not only is this guy using all four quadrants he's elevating getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Ready with the 0 1 and a good swing there by Young but this is pulled a bit too much as it'll find the seats out of play. Working for the punch out and the offering lays off that time and it's one and two. Here he comes again one two hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw is in time and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So all in all they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. Three innings complete. The A's lead this one three to one. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Xander Bogarts. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hit in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Piscotti, but he won't get there. It falls in. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. When it left his bat, I thought it might score foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Stepping up now, Steve Pierce. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the stretch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. 
One run, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The one-two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Settling in now, Dustin Pedroia. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat and he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway it's nothing in one. And here's one that misses to Pedroia and the count evens at one and one. One one home just catches the inside corner for strike two. The one two takes this the other way to right base hit and that'll get a run in. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez. There goes Pedroia. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Oh and one here it comes swing and a little tapper hits are even right now at five aside down the third baseline but this will be a foul ball and it's still Owen oh two. 